So we're going to look like look at factoring by grouping. Now the important thing to know is that it sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't work. What you have to be able to do is recognize a binomial factor in the first two terms that is the same as a binomial factor in the second two terms. Okay, and it looks to me like there is a common factor of 2x plus 3 in the first two terms and in the second two terms. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm smart. I see that there's a 2x plus 3 in the first two terms, and that's being multiplied, obviously, by a 4x. Okay, anyways, there is a 2x plus 3 factor in the second two terms, and that is being multiplied by a negative 9. Now, I've chosen something big and horrible uh, on purpose. Okay, and you've probably also noticed that this is a 4x squared by now, or at least or at least I hope you have recognized that. Okay, so I have two terms. I have a common factor in both terms. It has the unfortunate nature of a binomial factor, but I'm going to factor it out of these two terms, and there is what's left. Okay, so I have factored by grouping this binomial from this trinomial. Now, I am not done because I can actually see that I can further factor the quadratic factor because this is a difference of squares. And so to complete the factoring, 2x plus 3, and this is 2x minus 3, and 2x plus 3. Okay, so there we go. Factor by grouping. This little part at the end is just an extra. You have to notice that these two have a common binomial factor. Now, there's a little secret that you can use. If 8 times negative 27, in other words, if the first term times the last term is equal to the second term times the middle term, in other words, 12 times negative 18, and it is, so negative 216 is equal to, oh, negative 216. Okay. If 8 times negative 27 is equal to 12 times negative 18, and it is, then I can probably factor this by grouping. Okay, so the first number times the last number is equal to the second number times the third number. Um, you've got it made. You can factor by grouping.